Summer Bash update details, new sponsored mods, and a further look at the ARC dev kit. You're right, kids, it's Ras Clark, and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So, of course, if you didn't catch the stream last weekend, we got a Dancing Rex <laughs> and a big GG to Wildcard for getting involved, although. There's a bit of an issue with the sound, but we'll overlook that. In terms of reveals during this special video broadcasted community crunch update, there wasn't too much to report that we didn't already know. However, there was a big one. The Summer Bash event has been extended until the 21st by one more week for you lucky ARC players out there. So you can enjoy all of those breeding and harvesting rates and take more advantage of that event. Throughout the stream, of course, they revealed their new goodie giveaway box, which I'm apparently gonna get one in the post soon, as well as some codes to give out to you lucky people. So watch out for that, it'll be coming soon. I'll have some news on how I'm going to give these away once I receive mine and do a little react video for you. A few things highlighted by the devs was one, ticket reporting. With Gen 2, there is more and more tickets than there's ever been. And as such, if you've reported a ticket, if you've logged a ticket, it's going to take a bit more time for them to get back to you. There's a higher volume of tickets. And Wildcard are aware a lot of servers are crashing at the moment, so they refreshed our memory on how to report a server outage via the following form, and I'll leave a link to this in the description. They once again highlighted the next map to come to the official roster, the Lost Island, or Lost Island, keep calling it the Lost Island. We don't know exactly when it's going to come out yet, but of course, it's a brand new map that's seemingly paying homage to the island, to the original map. The devs even went on on record to say they feel like this is a nice reset back to that very first map and that they've got somewhat of a post gen 2 plan and it surrounds of course the feedback post gen 2 what the community want to see and it seems to start with this back to the island or back to a new island last island with of course three brand new creatures one of which we already know about, the Armagosaurus, one that's being picked by you, the community, and I've gone through that as much detail as I can. If you're not aware, I'll leave a link in the description. And a third one, which we've not really talked about yet. There's a third creature out there that Wildcard haven't announced, haven't revealed, and we don't know what that is. Everybody, including myself, are focused on this community voted creature, but nobody's thinking, what is the third final creature that Wildcard are going to drop in? with this new map. I don't even know what to guess it's going to be. I think we're all just too excited to see what the community voted creature might be. And perhaps, perhaps, Wildcard might use these community submissions to make that third and final creature. It's a possibility. Perhaps make a community picked creature and then Wildcard's community picked creature. But we'll have to wait and see on that. They did also confirm it's going to be very different from the mod available now. Of course, I did a gameplay video on this. If you want to see that, I'll leave a link in the description about what you can see and do in this map so far in its mod form. But it's going to be very, very different from that mod. The devs have said this, and I expected it to be. For one, that mod is only a portion finished. But speaking of mods, there are new sponsored mods in the program now to join, of course, Fjorda, Glacius, and No Untamables. And the first one is Architect, a new way of building in Ark. This is seemingly a better way of adjoining every mod structure out there, of course, including the official structure tier lists and Architect's own lists within their own workshops and tools to make building a much better experience of course up until now we've got so many mods out there it can be a bit of a challenge to multitask which structure is created in which bench but this bypasses all of that and it can now be done within one bench the next one of course is the cosplay evolve mod which certainly looks like a lot of fun enabling you to customize your character to whatever you could dream of there's so many options and ways to transform your character like, if you want a purple wolf head with a fin, there you go. <laughs> Job done. There's a wide range of different things you can do to this. To, of course, cosplay your character to look like whatever you want it to look like. And I might have to have a little more play with this in the future. Sponsored mods, if you don't know what they are, they are handpicked mods by Wildcard to be officially supported by the team, somewhat funded, to ensure they are developed to be the best mods they can be and possibly be a part of the official game. So far, of course, with mods, we've only really seen maps make it to that official tier where all players from all platforms can play these. And I'm very suspecting that one of these could be our next mod map after Lost Island, and I did a video on that. 
link in the description. So the dev kit, I reported about this last Saturday that you can use all of the Gen 2 assets now to do whatever you really want, whether you want to integrate them into your own mods or just have a little play and delve into the assets to see what was cut out, what didn't come to Gen Part 2. And whilst there's so much stuff yet to uncover, there's one thing that I thought was really, really cool. And shout out to the Arc Theories Discord that found this, that they was able to get the asset of the ship that were on in Gen Part 2 and compare it size-wise against an Arc. And look, you've got a zoom to see it. That's how small an Arc is compared to the ship woof <laughs> which i guess makes sense but my word this thing encompasses arcs good grief look at the size of it compared to those arcs that was seemingly quite big at the time nothing compared to the gen 2 spaceship and you've got to wonder and wish what if the whole of that circle was explorable imagine that different playable biomes within each part of the ring oh impossible to do i know impossible to execute we got literally two squares of that ring in gen 2 and what i'd love to see is a mod out there that decided to do that that decided to add two more sections into that ring of course it have to be in a new map of its own right but there seems like some wonderful opportunity to expand upon the biomes we've got in gen part 2 within the entire spaceship how on earth it would be executed, I really, really don't know. But we've got a good year, year and a half maybe, until Arc 2. The devs have already said there's going to be a lot more content coming to Arc 1. Especially next year, they went on record to say. They've even confirmed that Fear Evolved will definitely be coming back in October. And I can't wait for that one. Fear Evolved is by far my favourite event all year round. In terms of Arc 2, the fully fledged sequel, there's nothing to report on that just yet. The devs, or at least said, haven't got any more information to share with us about Arc 2, and nor do I expect it. I don't think we'll see anything new on Arc 2 until next year. No chance. It's all going to be about Lost Island now, what that presents, and the next map following that. It seems almost confirmed there's going to be another map after lost island in which case i believe near yeah, arc 2 very very slim chance however there is the extra live stream this year which is around october time whereby the devs do a 24 hour live stream and during that they go through a lot of arc new details and maybe they might maybe they might share some arc 2 stuff then but that will definitely be the first thing we hear of anything new hopefully the animated tv series that seems to have gone very very quiet as of late but it's shaping up to be something very special that i can't wait to see with some fantastic voice actors and animators behind the scenes no news on what service this is going to drop to however everyone's hopeful it's going to be netflix but we'll have to wait and see on that and finally with all news videos it's shout out time but this time it's a shout out to said the lead community manager of arc survival evolved that of course has been feeding us so much information about arc over the last few years listening to us joking with us and above all else trying to just uplift the positive vibes of the art community and credit to him i think said is a great face for wildcard that represents everything positive about this game not only did he make one of the first mods that came to arc primitive plus but he's an upbeat positive guy that loves to share information with us about arc and in recent times he's been trying his hardest to get verified on twitter well arc community raw souls it's your time to shine i did a tweet today saying let's get hashtag verify cedric trending posting any pictures vids gifts of said or successes in arc celebrated with him to highlight said within twitter's eyes hopefully raise his profile enough that twitter do verify him and not only does it help said cement himself within the twitterverse it helps cement arc even further across social media having more verified representatives of this game it's worth doing 100 percent so just spend five seconds to write out a tweet with verify cedric in it and if you can throw in a photo of it happy days if you can't just a tweet will do but let's see let's see the community all get together and really help raise the profile of said verify cedric let's do it and there we go i hope you enjoyed this if you did comment below let me know are you looking forward to the extended summer bash event what do you think this third creature might be that wildcard are going to drop with lost island my name's ross clark don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always ah! <laughs> peace out